Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3 on the Game Boy, One Year Spectacular. Moving on to Shadow Man now, so we can get rid of this little audio glitch. And I will say, Shadow Man is significantly easier in this version, but I guess that's because his weakness is not available. No top man in this game, so they probably had to scale back Shadow Man a bit. This stage isn't that long either. You can complete it in about three minutes. And I guess they added those bombs to the stage, but the challenge, the little challenge this level presented is not there. Which is fine, because I remember in Mega Man 3, sometimes it felt like it went on forever. Alright, here we go. And you won't find Proto Man in this game either, as far as I know. Again, I haven't beaten it, so I can't say he doesn't show up somewhere, but... We're not going to be fighting him as Breakman, I'm pretty sure. But it's on a different storyline, you know, in this game, so... I guess that makes sense. Not that I really play Mega Man games for the story. I don't think most people do. It's nice to have a purpose, though. It's all about the gameplay in this. And these frogs are annoying. Let's see... Nope, no enemies there. That's kind of unusual. So, getting back to this whole one-year thing. I know before I had started making Let's Plays, I had been doing Mujin videos and Final Fantasy XI videos, but uh, this is the thing that kind of stuck around the most, and I guess... I mean, I didn't really do Mujin videos for that long. I did them long enough, and I might do more. I kind of have forgotten about them, to be honest, and... Uh, I haven't updated my characters for that in a long time, and a lot of times when I post a video, I get comments about how I haven't updated the characters and I should do it, and it, get kind of, it becomes a chore when all I'm doing is updating things. So, you might see some in the future, but probably not that often. I'm enjoying doing Let's Plays more than Mujin, but... And maybe when I start playing Final Fantasy XIV, when that comes out, maybe I'll do some videos of that, and I'll try to make sure it doesn't preoccupy all my time, uh, so that I'm not making any videos anymore. Just like, uh, when I eventually get a job, I'm hoping that's not gonna suck too much time out of this. But, you know, I wouldn't be, even though I do this for my own enjoyment, but just knowing that there's people out there that watch this and enjoy this, that makes it all the more worthwhile, so really, I have to thank you guys again. I wouldn't be doing it, like, this long if it wasn't for you guys. Alright. Let's use our Gemini laser and finish this fight off in record time. Uh, ouch. Oh. And that was ridiculously easy. I bet everyone that's played Mega Man 3 wished his fight was always that simple. Well, I guess it kind of is if you know how to use the top spin properly, but... And now we have... Shadow Blades! Yay! Very handy weapon. And now we can take on the last of the Mega Man 3 bosses. This good old Sparkman! This guy is actually, even though he isn't any harder, his stage has actually become more difficult. But not necessarily for the right reasons. There are a lot of cheap jumps. And those stupid electrical things are a pain in the neck, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'll point it out when I get there. Uh, so here we go. Here's another spot where you wouldn't know you're gonna get hurt unless you've played this before. Pretty sure unless you're ridiculously fast and using turbo or something, you're not going to be able to kill this guy on his first pass. And he does pretty high collision damage, so I'm not going to mess with him. Ouch. Here's one of the first jumps that's ridiculous. This. Wow. Alright, let's try that again. Like I said, the controls are sensitive. I did not intend to walk off the edge. I was trying to nudge my way over. If you're not in the right spot there, you'll end up jumping up and getting Mega Man caught in an extra pixel. And it'll knock him back down to the ground. So let's try this again. The stage isn't that long that that's going to hold me up. Ouch. 
I don't leave my deaths in that often, but usually I don't have to edit any out. That's another thing, I, I, you know, I think I've only ever had to edit a death out maybe once or twice. Uh, that's one of the things I like about this, I don't have to edit too much stuff out. There we go. There's another jump like that later in the level. And here's those spark plug guys, uh, or plug whatevers. They're, uh, they don't infinitely respawn there like they usually do in the NES, which is good. They don't move as fast either. And more Hammer Joes. And did I just slide over a pit? That was kind of weird. That usually doesn't happen either. Maybe it's just different in this. Different logic, different, different physics system. Or they overlook that. Because if I can slide over gaps, I'll, I'll take advantage of that later. Oh. When I get this, you won't be able to get it unless you have the rush coil. Notice we haven't picked up a Rush Marine or a Rush Jet. Even though we've killed three bosses at this point. I'm guessing we get those when we kill more of the Mega Man 4 bosses. Whoa! Those floaty underwater-like jumps really make this section more dangerous than it usually is. And there's another Hammer Joe. And you do not want to go all the way over to the right here because there's spikes and there's bombs, which aren't that hard to get through. Except for here, you kind of have to... Oh, no, never mind. It's this one. There we go. You actually have to do a little fancy dodging there, but nothing too hard that would stop most people. And more of these. I don't know why they thought it would be fun to just shoot these inanimate objects over and over again. Oh, this is the other place where that pixel-perfect jumping comes into play. And down we go. Another Hammer Joe. I'm sick of these guys already. Actually, I was sick of them when I first fought them in the other Mega Man games. I don't like them. They're annoying when you have to just keep waiting for an opening, and you have to dodge every time he, you do get that opening. Oh. More dangerous jumps, and that, that tube right there is just placed there to trick you. Nothing actually comes out of it. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Let's equip our Shadow Blade, and we should be able to finish this off very quickly. Even with that death, we're not even pushing nine minutes. We're barely up at eight here. Can't be hurt when he's charging up that... Oh... And he's gone. Wow, that was not hard at all. Let's collect our power and then I can start a new video. I don't think we get any extra rush attachments here either. Nope, just Spark Shock. So next time guys, more Let's Play Mega Man 3. Uh, for the Game Boy, one year anniversary, spectacular, special, super special awesome. Next time.